All right, here in the new in-home studio, disc of the day, forest background, lit up disc rack. I hope you like it. Well, hello and welcome back to the vlog. It's been a while and I am outside, not at a disc golf course and I need to address this real quick because Discmania has reached out, the PDGA has reached out and I think we're all coming slowly but surely to the agreement that if you don't need to go out, don't go out. I'm here on a baseball field, obviously with no other people around, literally 30 seconds from my apartment. I will not be going to any public disc golf courses as long as we don't get the message that it's safe and it's okay and it's smart to do. We can only hope things get under control. Who knows what happens? Who knows? What's, no one knows. Every, literally everyone I've talked to has a different opinion on this, different take, different predictions. I'm okay and I'll keep things rolling and coming as much as I possibly can. Okay, let's get into this video. Ego McMahon just posted on his YouTube channel a sidearm tutorial. Check out the video in the description. It's worth a watch. And I thought this is the perfect time for me to work on my sidearm. Ego sent me that clip of him throwing his sidearm. I'm gonna frame my sidearm exactly like he framed it up, or as close as I possibly can. Throw the same shot, then go back to my new in-home studio, which I can't wait to show you guys, and compare them side by side, frame by frame, and look at the differences and then try to learn from that. So without any further ado, sit back and enjoy. And here is Eagle sidearm, followed by my sidearm, and then side by side, followed by the breakdown. And good luck. All right, here in the new in-home studio, disc of the day, forest background, lit up disc rack. I hope you like it, because I love it. But we're getting straight into the form comparison between Eagle's sidearm and my sidearm. I just got back, and let's check it out. So here we are, Eagle's sidearm, my sidearm, checking out both sidearms in slow motion. And Eagle really has developed one of the best sidearms I think this game has ever seen. Accuracy and especially power is uh, so impressive. Like he can make a very tricky hole that is a 450 foot turnover look extremely easy and simple with a little, what looks like just a pitch sidearm. It is very impressive and I want to see what are the differences, what can I work on to at least maybe get a step closer to his sidearm because my sidearm, if Eagle's sidearm is here, my sidearm is here. Here's a terrible sidearm, here's a best sidearm, mine is like definitely bottom half. The first thing I've noticed, I'm just gonna let this play once, is that just like in backhand, I think footwork is one of the keys because if your feet are not positioned in the right way with off timing and everything you can make it very very difficult to throw a good shot look how eagle starts his run up he's already turned towards the camera so he's all sideways where i, I am like walking forward eagle is already sideways completely and does more of this shuffle hop with his feet pointed to the camera very big difference here. And then our last step, boom, right here. If I look at the upper body, like our reach backs are not that different. Like here to here, everything kind of stays the same. I was expecting him to have a way bigger reach back than me, but it's pretty similar. And then we pull through and then release. I timed this so the disc releases here in the same frame. So it should, 
If we had the identical form, everything should be looking identical. That made sense. And then our last step here, look when he plants his front foot, it is now planted. My foot is still not planted. Even though we shoot forward at the same time, so... I don't understand how he does it. I think his last step is just a bit shorter than mine. You can see that later at a, at a different angle, but here we have Eagle planting fully, then pulling through, and I'm kind of already like moving almost forward before, I before my front foot is really planted. And I notice one more difference in our upper body, in the arm, right arm. I think you can see it better here side by side. Plant, elbow shoots forward, pretty similar here, forward, and now is the change. When I go one more forward, right here, look, his elbow goes one extra step, and then he releases, and I already shoot forward. And I don't know when or how he developed this extra little, damn. Look at his right arm, that just looks insane. Is that what I'm missing? That extra pop and better footwork? Sidearms are really not meant to be looked at frame by frame. It doesn't look healthy at all. Okay, so Eagle's footwork, sideways, shuffle, and then he turns his front foot, turns his foot all the way forward, engages his hips that go from sideways, forward. Wow. All right, I'm walking forward, 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 front step, shoot forward. Uh, okay, I've been looking at this for way too long now. <laughs> so, what I want to work on is more sideways run up, just kind of copy eagle, try the shuffle that I've never really tried before, go from like a straight walk up to sideways, see what that does. And then my last step looks like it's a bit too wide, like if you compare these two, eagle looks like pretty comfortable but athletic, and I'm like almost like trying to force too much, I think that's, it could explain some of my knee pain that I've having from sidearm in my left knee. Shorten that up, that might fix the timing issue, where his front foot plants a bit earlier than mine. And then, I don't even know how he does this elbow thing. I, I'm not gonna try and force that too much. <laughs> that doesn't look n natural. But uh, it works for him, and as long as he doesn't have pain from it, I think it's fine. So I think it's footwork, really. Timing, footwork, and then obviously put in a lot of reps, a lot of work. That could make the difference. I can't wait to go out and try. And I especially also did this to show you guys how you can compare this. Like, every freaking pro's form is on YouTube. Just screen record it off of there. Record yourself and possibly the most identical frame that they were using. And then put them into iMovie or any free program you can use to put them side by side. Or just look at them back and forth, back and forth. Look at them frame by frame. It's not that hard to figure out how to do it. If I can figure it out, I think anyone can figure it out because I'm so useless at any technology stuff. That's how you improve. Look at someone who is really good at it and try and copy that. Obviously, you, everyone will do it slightly differently because of our bodies and everyone's just different. But I'm definitely going to work on the footwork and keep you guys posted on how my sidearm is developing because I need a better sidearm. I need a better everything. But enough of that, hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to show you a quick tour of this new studio and how I did it. All right, so we are here in our guest room, just a normal room in our apartment. And I made this little corner out of this, I don't know what you call it, but it's like a cloth that my girlfriend just had flying around in a closet, which we never used. And I thought that could be perfect for like a YouTube studio background. It's great for the disc golf. Obviously, New England courses look pretty much all like this. And here at my desk, cool drawing of me, laptop, TV, very unprofessional lighting. And then I bought on uh, 
Amazon these lights that you can just stick on to stuff and I thought that would be perfect for my disc rack so that's pretty cool I also have a remote where I can change the colors of it no oh, this way I can make it red I can make it green I think blue looks the coolest then I have my GBO trophy player of the year trophy a little we want aces signed from target and a little light behind it that i put a piece of cloth over to dim it a bit so it's not that bright but it looks pretty cool on camera actually and then another light here that gives the whole thing some green light green light bulb light bulb light bulb light bulb and then we have a little disc of the day thing where today obviously the PD3 brand new disc media disc. I need to do a review of that disc. So I really wanted this in the background and have a different disc in every video. And then I just have this setup here. Very simple, very easy, but hopefully it looks cool. Hopefully you like it because I don't know how much I'm going to be able to go outside moving forward for the next couple of weeks. Hopefully not in months, but uh, I'll go to the field a couple times when no one's around obviously I don't think that adds any risk or harm to anyone I'm just avoiding any public courses because I think that's the smart thing to do so that's it for today can't wait to go work on that sidearm thank you Eagle for uh, sending me that clip and go check out Eagle's video on Eagle's vlogs channel Great stuff, great tips for working on sidearms, and I have more videos coming this week, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and see you at the next one.